Hello everyone. I have been asked continuously over the last few weeks, how do I get it right to produce so much content on social media? I focus primarily on LinkedIn and on Twitter. Last year, I posted 631 posts on those platforms. And uh, <laughs> the people have been asking me, how do you get it right? And I thought I'd make a short video just to tell you because it's possible for us all to share a lot more about our ideas, the things we are reading about and wondering about, thinking about, grappling with. Um, not everyone would like to put themselves out there, so to speak, and that's perfectly okay. But a few years ago, I decided I want to become a lot more active on LinkedIn. And in fact, about a year and a half ago, I uh, wrote this in, in a book that I published an ebook called Before You Speak. It's about public speaking and, and not um, what many books cover, namely how to hold a microphone, how to prepare your slides, um, your body language and all the like. I had a lot of people asking me, how do I get onto the conference speaking circuit? So I wrote that book and I'll, I'll put the link down below. And one of the things I say in that book is, Firstly, decide what do you want to be known for? And it's okay if that pivots over the years. It doesn't have to be one commitment for life. But I decided about five years ago, I want to be known as a thought leader when it comes to artificial intelligence and related technologies. So the first thing is, what do you want to be known for? The second thing that I, I mentioned in that book is, how to create the perception about that thing that you want to be known for and not in a false way uh, it's important to be authentic but use social media and public speaking opportunities and, and uh, article writing to create the perception around what you want to be known for and that's really what i what i try to do so i've really been using um, linkedin and twitter in particular and I've been blessed with opportunities to write in, in very well-known art uh, publications and, and a lot of conference speaking. Last year, I did 31 conferences. It was easy in a way because it's, it was all virtual. So uh, you don't have to travel anywhere and you can put on a, a nicer looking shirt five minutes before you speak. But it was also challenging because you can't see anyone you speak with. And it was only last week that I spoke at a kind of a face-to-face, -face, real, if you would, conference and the IT Web BI Summit, which was a fantastic event where I actually could see the audience. Um, so, so think about what do you want to be known for and how can you create the perception around that? So how do I create the content that I'm creating? It's on the one hand, inspiration. It's what do you want people to know? What do you want people to tell about yourself? Do you believe you've got something to say? And we all do. A lot of us are just, um, you know, kind of scared to do it. And that's very human. It's very human nature to feel like that. But it's also about almost like getting over yourself. If you really think you've got something important to say, you're going to have to put yourself out there. So on the one hand, it is about inspiration. The other more important thing in order to create the amount of content that I'm creating, for me at least, is a hell of a lot of hard work and a lot of hours. Now, uh, your kind of day job is most likely very consuming. It's difficult to spend any time you know, on social media and, and other platforms promoting yourself. And we all have different biorhythms. Some people work better later at night. I work much better earlier in the morning. So I typically get up at about 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m. I'm happy I never set my alarm. Problem is by about 4 or 5 p.m. I'm finished. Don't do any work in the evenings. But I, I spend 4 to 6 a.m., every morning um, reading, catching up on my favorite blogs, my favorite authors, my favorite people that I follow on LinkedIn, my mentors, 
And um, it's at that time that I create the content that I'm creating. So there, apart from creating the perception and also being inspired, nothing will replace spending time and putting in the hard work. So I really want to be known as a thought leader in this smart technology era. And that phrase is something I got from my dear friend and mentor, Dr. Jacques Ludic, who just over a year ago wrote a book called uh, Democratizing Artificial Intelligence to Benefit Everyone. And I'll also put that link in this video. But uh, what is the smart technology era? And, and what is the thing I want to speak about? And that's what I want to challenge you with. Whether it's, it is technology or, or ballet, dancing, painting, leadership, whatever your thing is, the thing that makes you feel alive, you have to determine what that is. Then find the right mentors and the right people to inspire you and focus on that. Found that a lot of people are very smart, very smart, like so much smarter than I am. But they struggle to communicate. They struggle to tell a story. They struggle to put complex concepts in simple terms that people can understand, but also that inspires people. So don't try and be super smart. Don't try and speak like a Steve Jobs or anyone like that. Be your authentic self. But you have to have that energy. You have to be inspired, whether it's global warming, climate change, social justice, the future of our children. Whatever that thing is, you have to decide on that one thing, the why, as Simon Sinek would often speak about. Great author, great speaker, really worth following him. What is that why? What is that thing you want to be known for? What is that one thing you want to be passionate about? That's important. That's a good start. You're going to have to put in the effort. And I want to end off this video with just a few tricks that I use. Apart from the long hours I put in, it's build your social media network, whatever you use. As I say, I only use Twitter and LinkedIn and not any of the others. It just doesn't work for me. I'm not interested in them, to be honest. Use a, a tool called Buffer, buffer.com. It's about $14 a month where I pre-schedule my posts. So I, I almost, you know, it's that thing of out of um, sight, out of mind. I want to be in people's LinkedIn and Twitter feeds every day. So I use Buffer. I usually spend my Saturday or Sunday to look at the most interesting news articles on artificial intelligence and related technologies of the last week or so. And I schedule what I want to share. So every day in the morning around 9 a.m., in the evenings around 5 p.m. or so, I will schedule a piece to go out. I've had people say, listen, I just see you in my LinkedIn feed all the time. How do you get it right? And that's the trick. I use Buffer. I pre-schedule it. But then I also post a lot of things, reshare um, and, or, or, or share new things like the articles that I'm writing for Business Day and other publications, the, the Business Day TV um, recordings that I do with Michael Avery once a month. And then you might not necessarily have the opportunity to write for publications or to be on, on TV recordings. But if you want to put yourself out there based on the thing that you are really interested in, whether it is resharing important comment or, or whether it is writing, and you can even microblog, write two or three hundred words. It's fairly quick and easy. And I most likely will take a, a, a next video to explain you how I have found it easy to write three or four articles a week. There are so many ways. I don't think I'm a born writer. I think you can learn through tricks and the tricks of the trade and through skills to be a good writer. So that's just the video. I let's just, Let me sum it up. Is what inspires you? What moves you? What do you really want to share with people? And then you're going to have to figure out how to share it. Social platforms, buffer, like I'm using the other platforms like that. It's putting in the time to create the content because it takes a lot of time. And, and really to believe you've got something to say and really not to care what people think. 
I know it sounds horrible, because that really keeps us back. We think we don't have something to say. And I'm going to end this video with, with a song and then just a, a, a little bit of the, the lyrics of that song that's really inspired me. I hope this video has helped you, but you know, contact me by direct message or by email if you would like to ask any questions um, or if you disagree even. And I'm going to follow up this video with a few more um, tricks of the trade that I've discovered, if you would.